In a year where comic book movies are starting to fade, no one wants to see dramas, and our most beloved celebrities can't get people into theaters. Hollywood has decided to repurpose the same 19th century public domain Italian novel three different times in one calendar year, with, let's say, varying results. Whoa. I can't wait to get to school and learn what all this stuff is. I don't want to be one of a kind. I want to be like everyone else. Every 2022 Pinocchio movie. For generations, audiences fell in love with Pinocchio, a puppet who learns to be honest and brave on his way to becoming a real boy. But what if that wasn't the true story, and it was really a crime drama about a gang of thieves infiltrating a circus? I'll tell the whole truth about what you're really doing, and then... Ugh. Every one of you will go to jail. Where the Blue Fairy was actually the Scarlet Witch. Jiminy Cricket was a horse with weird put-downs. I find his appearance rather dull. You could have made a more joyful and intelligent puppet. And Pinocchio was a yassified horse dancer. <laughs> Why? Because it's made in Russia. The only thing they love more than horse dancing is dash cam videos. Kids movies are just built different over there. I will whip you to death! No! I will kill you two with my bare hands! Experience a film that looks almost as good as a freemium mobile game ad. With an all-star cast of the best voice talent currently on Cameo. <clears throat> like 90s icon Polly Shore, He's a little juice. who transforms his voice, chameleon-like, into that of 90s icon Polly Shore. I'm a boy and I'm alive. When can I leave to be on my own? I want to meet other people. It's just me. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite's John Hader, who actually alters his voice, probably out of embarrassment. <laughs> I knew it all along. And SpongeBob legend Tom Kenny as Geppetto, who really has nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, it's not like he was the voice of Skids in Transformers 2. Ooh, that, that's old school, yo. That, that's like, that's a Cybertronian. Wait, he was? Aw, oh, barnacles. So if you're looking for a take on Pinocchio that's a little bit different than what you're used to, enjoy the only version where his dad is a horse. You want me to be your father? Just say yes. I promise I'll be a good son. He gets third-hand directions from three different clowns. One of the clowns I know was told by another clown that there is a fairy who lives by a mountain. And everyone is strapped at all times. Let me make a couple holes in this puppet. You think I'm scared of your guns? You will be my ticket out of here. <laughs> Stop it, I say! Enough with the shooting already! But hey, at least the songs are also in the movie. We're innocent as lambs, and yes, we're poor artists. <laughs> We've been deceived as well. And Mangio Foco is their boss! And Pino Man. From director Robert Zemeckis, who's moved full-time into the uncanny valley, comes a movie so aware of its own crappiness, they basically rub your face in it. In a film destined to slide quietly down the ass end of a Disney Plus submenu, where it will slowly run away into the obscurity it so richly deserves. And not just an actor, an entrepreneur, nay, an influencer! No. Turn on Disney Plus' best argument for adding a playback speed option in a film that's only worth watching to check in on how many holes long COVID has put into Tom Hanks' brain. Why? Because he likes you! As he turns Geppetto into the biggest 2022 boy lover since his take on the Colonel. Now turn around, let me get a look at you. Oh, very handsome, very handsome. My boy. My boy. Bumbling around a green screen hellscape, singing nonsense to nobody. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, holy smokeyo. Holy smokeyo, indeed. Can you believe Chet Hanks had a better year than his dad? Big up, big up the whole island, massive. It's your boy Chet and I. So prepare for a Pinocchio that's bad in all the most boring ways. I have some very good garbage for you. <laughs> with the same beats as the original, with all the edges sanded off. Root beer! Look! Free root beer! 
full of wink nudge comedy that's out of date before the movie even came out. We need a stage name. Chris Pine. Nah, it'd never work. <laughs> Timeless. An animation that looks like you told an AI about a wooden boy, then pulled the plug before it finished rendering. At least when Walt put his animators in the sweatshop, they made Cinderella. Modernity sucks. Forrest Stump. From anti-carnival activist Guillermo del Toro comes a story he's been passionate about making for so long, you'd swear it featured a child in World War II, sympathetic monsters, evil humans, and a sea creature that someone tries to have sex with. No? Well, four out of five ain't bad. Put the kids to bed for a Pinocchio story that truly considers the implications of being a soulless piece of wood that will never take the place of a sad old man's murdered child that makes our childlike hero die repeatedly. You will die many, many times. Swaps Pleasure Island for a fascist military academy and ends with him burying the only people he ever loved. That's so relentlessly grim, all the best jokes are about Nazi salutes gone wrong. Like hilarious! So if you want to watch the one 2022 Pinocchio movie that was actually good, thanks to the always great GDT and a co-director who's done claymation for so long, he worked on the California Raisins. Watch the one that was beautifully crafted with a bittersweet message about retaining your humanity and a standout performance from Christoph Waltz as a circus freak who spanks his monkey. You have any idea? Nobody wanted you. I saved you. Christoph Waltz and fascist Europeans seem a better combo. Morning Wood. Not starring these other Pinocchio adaptations because wow, the pee hole goes deep. The 70s Soviet versions. The TV miniseries with Bob Hoskins that just made Pinocchio a real boy the whole time to cut costs. The one where Seinfeld crosses over with the Drew Carey show. The most 90s version possible. The most 2000s version possible. The one where an adult man plays Pinocchio. The one where the same adult man now plays Geppetto, but Pinocchio is somehow even creepier. The up and coming dark and gritty video game. The one with James Spader. I had strings, but now I'm free. And the Shrek version, which probably wins by default. I am wearing ladies' underwear. Are you? I most certainly am not. <laughs> It looks like you most certainly am off. Oh. It's a thong! Ow! Every 2022 Pinocchio movie. When somebody calls themselves honest, they ain't. Oh no, they're onto us. Quick, everyone, scram! Merry Christmas. Now, bring us some figgy pudding and bring it out here. You are on my naughty list. You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now, get ready for honest trailers on Oh Forget It, This Will Never Get Red.